couldn't what? leave without it, you know. Yeah, man. Couldn't ju- yeah, couldn't man. leave without spending the money on the <laughs> Abbo. <laughs> yeah. oh. It's cool, man. But I like, yeah. I like that, man. It's, 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 it's a good feeling, isn't it, man? People, Incredible. People appreciate your work enough to purchase. That's a, that's a big thing, bro. Yeah. I mean, not. It's everything. It's a, it's a privilege, isn't it, man? Do you know what I mean? So. It's, it's everything. Yeah, and it's man. what you get up in the morning to do. It's what you wake up for. Oh, yeah, man. People don't see the... <laughs> shows like this don't happen just by chance. And, bro, this is sleepless nights. This is believing it might not work sometimes. Yeah. And just pushing through. Keep pushing through. We've talked about through. this a lot. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Do you I know, know what I mean? Bro. It's like... Yeah, man. It's, a... it's funny how you, where your grind takes you, you know. You'd, you never expected this to have happened, surely, when you was younger. Uh... Yeah, man, I didn't really, like, as a kid, I didn't really know where my life was going, man. More time, I'd <laughs> probably not always the direction it should always go, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. kind of a bit, don't know what I want to do with myself, yeah. you know what I mean? Luckily, I'd say luckily, this isn't by luck, innit, man, do you know what I mean? Mm. This is hard work. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official dot com. <laughs> Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yes, yes, people. Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be, choose to be, could be. You don't want to be anywhere else. Big shout out to everybody sharing and caring. God, it's been a minute. God, you deserve it. And you deserve a whole lot more. So watch your space. Our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hoddle Wars Summer 2024. Uh, <laughs> we're in, in a normal location, as the reverberation of my voice can probably tell. Uh, we are in the headquarters of Camden Open Air Gallery. Um, if you know, you know. It's uh, one of the premier places for street art and beyond. And uh, if we're talking about going one step beyond, the man to the right of me, your left, he should be no stranger to you. The gentleman has started off in the streets carving and architecting, architecturing all of his uh, creativity on uh, dilapidated surfaces and beyond. He's done a string of exhibitions and this one really highlights what's really going on out on the streets it's your boy Abbott's in the building yes my bro how are we man you good <laughs> I'm good yeah man I'm good jeez I mean when was the last podcast we did that was a while ago yeah you're talking maybe like two two and a bit years ago now yeah long enough yeah it's been a while man it's yeah. been a while and much as much maturity things yeah. have really developed in your art and output yeah man to this point I mean Looking around here right now, I mean, how many pieces have you actually done? Ah, uh, for this show, man, I think original paintings is touching 40 pieces. 40 pieces? Yeah, then we've got other bits, obviously, you've got prints and other elements. You've got, like, installations in the show, phone boxes. We've got the tourist, like, merch shop. It's, yeah. it's cool, man. It's a lot you've got of telephone boxes, you've got... Crazy trinkets, which we're obviously going to delve into, but yeah, dude, like, this isn't a normal exhibition by any stretch. <laughs> it's cool, man. It's a, you could tell, man, a lot of effort put into this one. Yeah, yeah. And compared to the last ones I've been to, I mean, obviously, he did Bonhams, you know, yeah. just a casual Bonhams <laughs> um, that was cool, uh, exhibition man. and auction. Um, how, how did that go for its time? Yeah, man. We had a piece going to auction at Bonhams, um, part of the Pop X culture yeah. uh, section of Bonhams. And yeah, the piece went on auction and it sold, so that was a that's cool, man. Cool. And, and big up, big up Finn, Coag, stand up. Yeah. Um, he was part of that, uh, that journey in Bonhams and he's been a faithful uh, confidant in a lot of your activities, yeah, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, I work very closely with the gallery here, man. I think ever since the first show, it was obviously the first show was such a success, isn't it, man? It's kind of just made sense to carry on the relationship afterwards, isn't it? Yeah, really. We've yeah. obviously done print drops over the years. Mm. Obviously went to Bonhams alongside uh, more art as part of the gallery. And now obviously we've got this show that's going on. Yeah. Yeah, man. And you've got other sh- another show going on while this is going on. Yeah, I've got a second show taking place at the Red 8 Gallery at the Royal Exchange. <laughs> so we've done two bodies of work at the same time for two shows, man. Okay, so yeah. look, let's, let's get into the nuts <laughs> and bolts. Because that's not normal, for starters. Yeah. Uh, and second of all, you've got to have a pretty tight schedule 
Or at least some sort of grip on your diary to make that sort yeah, of outcome man. happen. Yeah, man. It's uh, definitely got to have a plan in action. You can't just turn up to the studio every day and start painting. Oh. You've got a deadline. With me, I work better with deadlines. If I don't have the deadline there, it's a bit harder to work towards something. I need dates locked in. Yeah. Once that is, it, then I can make it in my head exactly how it's got to be done. Yeah. And Yeah, man. Because at this point, at this level, man, you can't just leave it to chance, innit? No. You've got a... You've got to plan it out. You've got to decide what you've got to go with, the theme of how you want the work to go, and it all kind of has to relate in some sort of way. And putting two bodies of work together at the same time is obviously not easy, but no. I've chose to do this, isn't it? So you've got to step up to the mark, isn't it? Yeah, and, I, and shutting up the naysayers, shall we say. You know, yeah, of course, man. That mental kind of... Uh, the, uh, the, the mannequin in your head. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, 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 the invisible enemy that course, you wake man. up in the morning and you just, you know, you strike vengeance upon <laughs> right? Of course, man. I think we all have that, innit, man? Yeah. Especially when you're trying to achieve something, innit, man? Sometimes, like, your mind can be the worst yeah. at points, you know what I mean? But sometimes you've got to overcome that. We all got self-doubt and all that. But, yeah. well, Do you think that avatar is, is us in the mirror at times? Do you really... Because I, I can't picture a mental person of somebody you're actually going for, but you have to... F- find some sort of target to, to stay motivated and yeah focused, of course right? man like I think for me for me for the motivation is obviously setting dates and obviously my motivation is that I don't want no one to walk into the space and think mm, you know what I mean mm. not, not that good you know what I mean I work towards putting on a show that has an impact I want you to walk in and all the pieces have an impact yeah. on people not, it's not always going to relate to everyone so that's my kind of drive that it's like okay if I'm going to do a show the show has to pop. It has to pop, innit? You know what I mean? So, like, my mental battle's more that than anything. But I get the impression, yeah, for sure, but sticking with the challenge and attack, I uh, like being here in Coag, it feels like you, by default, <laughs> installation, yeah. but it feels like it's, this is your show. This is yours, all of it. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like you've, te- you've looked at the whole surroundings and yeah. you've reappropriated artwork to fit exactly the right spaces, whether it's the coffee shop or the toilet. Or, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You've literally got something for that. Oh, mate, yeah. Like, <laughs> you can imagine how many times I've come in here and looked at the walls. What have I got to put here? What have I got to put here? Obviously, that's part of the build-up. Yeah. Like, you've got to read the space properly before you create all the work, you know mm. what I mean? You're not just going to do five paintings and think it's going to put a show in a space this big. Mm. You know what I mean? you really got to read it. And I might have even made too many paintings, but that's not a bad thing. Yeah, <laughs> have any idea. You can never have too much abots in your yeah, life. Of course, man. Um, but it's just the interest of that you, you know, the, the attention to detail on, you know, like the, the camera. Yeah, up the there. CCTV camera. CCTV. <laughs> it's so sick. It's cool, isn't it, man? It's cool. Yeah. I'm going to have to take that one and put it in my yard after, man. How many pieces do you. You know, big up the chest. Yeah. How many of these pieces do you actually say stuff? You know what? I really rate that. I'm going to keep that one. Uh, I get that with quite a lot of things, man. Like, there'll be pieces that you're like, all right, cool. I don't want that one to go. Mm. But obviously, if it goes, it goes, isn't it? That's a blessing. Right. Can I just draw attention to a yeah. couple of these bits that are on here? Because yeah, this on. is where our story began with, like, having things that we'd love to keep. Yeah, of course, man. Explain this here. This, uh, this, this is from... Uh, from a woman called Loz. She hit me up. She was she hit me up to collaborate a couple months ago and she was like, I do these uh, handmade spray cans, isn't it? Out of material. Out of fabric, materials yeah. I felt. It's all handmade yeah. and that. So she hit me up and was like, Yeah, I've made you one. But she's made one for herself. And I was like, okay, these are brilliant. And I was like, Yeah, these are too good, man. These are gonna have to get put in the show. <laughs> I was like, look, well let's let's you make a line of them for the show and we'll introduce them to the people, man. And it's sick, man. It's got a little Shaker inside her. As well. Sick man. She's put like the quote that I done in um in South Kilburn. Yeah. It's a cool little bit, man. That's it's only right we could put that in the show. I'd definitely want to keep that if I could. Startlingly it's, good. It's sick, man. man. We've got um another little piece, man. You got um a young guy called Elias. He works on little models and that. Mm. And he's he's hit me up, he wanted to work on something. He usually does like spray cans cut in half and he does like a brick wall on them. Mm-hmm. But we was like, look, let's come together and try and make something. So we've done an iconic shop in South Kilburn, Nish. That's where yeah. everyone in the ends will in go to. In the main to. square. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. in the main square, isn't it, man? Obviously, the big face is on the shop now. That shop is now closed down. That whole building's getting demolished done, soon, yeah. isn't it? So, like, for me, that's quite 
a cool piece, man. Yeah. I don't want that to, I'd love no. to keep it in it, man. Yeah, yeah. But to no, so no. many people in the area, that's such an important yeah. staple, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. Sticking with that, because uh, South Kilburn has become almost like your canvas to um, illustrate, whether it's, you know, original quotes yeah, yeah. or quotes from other places, um, the sentiment, I think, is echoed not just by the community, but Britain at large. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's... It's a silver lining in the cloud to say that, you know, without that, your art wouldn't be in such a... in, in having such a theme. Yeah, 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 of course. But South Kilburn really became your canvas. Yeah, of course, man. Obviously, I've been hanging around the estate since I was a kid, man. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, been painting there since I was a kid. Used to go to the OK Club and that, man. That used to be a group of us would go there and paint. And um, ever since then, it's just been a part of me, isn't it, man? The estate, I've obviously, it's left derelict, it's all to be demolished, but some of these buildings are just left dormant, nothing going on with them, man. Mm. And uh, it's turned into like dumping grounds. So from my perspective for that was to bring a bit more life to the area that's just mm. kind of been left abandoned in certain ways. Mm. And uh, the community's really engaged with it. It's to put a smile on people's face, isn't it, man? Yeah, yeah. Um, it really has. Again, it echoes the sentiment, the feeling of the of the community, the, the public l larger. Um, with, with the, it's almost like a snapshot in time. Yeah. Isn't it? It is, yeah, it is. Because, you know, five years from now, that whole estate, will be gone. and I think it it's the gone. last ever estate that's built that way. That, you know, TV companies are still trying to yeah, get man. as much out of it as they can, yeah, right? Yeah, so like, with the area, man, obviously the community is very cool, man. Like, there's a lot of people in there doing a lot of cool things. Yeah. But since the area's become very abandoned and that, it's like, it's, it's, less, pre it's less prevalent than usual. Mm. But it's like, hopefully it comes back, but obviously people are moving in and around the estate, it's different, isn't it, man? Yeah. But for me, the objective was just, it's not even an objective, I was just doing it because it was, I wanted to do it. No, there has to, no, I know what you mean by objective, because it wasn't objective, but there has to be a, a process, a, um, a, a theory behind it. You must have started from somewhere and, and kind of brought a case study to your, this particular arm of your project. It's more the basis of like, it's been left abandoned and it looks, they've let it go to shit, you know what I mean? That's the, that's the bottom line yeah. of it, man. There's buildings that are left abandoned. There's obviously, you've got homeless people living in sheds, you know what I mean? It's mm. just left to rot, you know what I mean? And you've got to understand there's still people living on that estate. They don't want it to look like that. No. Do you know what I mean? They don't want to see their kids come out on the estate and yeah. it's just like an abandoned wasteland, do you know what I mean? There is a lot of people still there still. There's right? a lot of people still there, man. And um, for me, it's just, I do a lot of the quotes, man, to like messages that raise awareness. And maybe if you're having a shit day or feeling a certain way, you can read it and it obviously brightens you up and let you know you're not going through certain things on your own. Yeah. With the cartoon, with obviously the faces and that, man, that brings it a more fun element to it. Yeah. I mean, so you'd, you can be surprised, man. A lot of the young people in the area are very engaged with that. Yeah, well, I mean, gives them a, uh, an opportunity to see creativity at its rawest. Yeah, that's, it's the rawest level. Do you know what I mean? It's literally its rawest level, isn't it, man? Yeah. On the estates, on the abandoned concrete blocks and that, you know what I mean? Does it ever get tricky? Uh, as, in what, as in what? As in, like... Any stories from having overstepped your time in... No, nah, no, nah, because I'm from... Everyone knows me in the area, innit, man? Oh, yeah, shit. yeah, like, come on, that's not, yeah, that's not a problem. I've been, I've been around... That's the past child, right there. Yeah, come on. No, nah, for me, man... Everyone, everyone from the kids to the adults, man, they're engaged with it, innit? Mm. Not, I'm not saying everyone's a fan of it, but it's definitely got an element where it engages the community. Art is meant to be a talking point. You're yeah. meant to have, there has to be some sort of bite to what it is, yeah. you know, and sometimes that bite can go missing for other reasons. But when you strike such a chord, it's, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of the newspapers and our articles, um, there has yeah. been, hasn't there? You've, yeah, yeah. You know, you've seen a lot of attraction from that, right? Yeah, 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 100%, man. As I said, it engages people, innit? Yeah. Right. And back to how it's at its rawest level. Mm. I mean, it's just there, so we're not doing it for... We're doing it because we want to do it. Yeah, 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 totally, it. totally. Um, with, and this, was, this goes back to the last podcast, you can always go and watch it. You know, <laughs> it's somewhere embedded in the 500. We got it out there, baby. Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
you are a fan of the characters and you gave me, you put me on some game and you said, you know, Pinky in the Brain, 50 pound notes, Chasing the Pinky, Pinky Brain, and yeah. you blew my mind, right? Yeah. How deep do you go with the cartoons? I mean, and, and moreover, any more gems like that that you've come across so, since we last connected? No. Uh, obviously, you know, I use the pound signs on the eyes, isn't it? Yeah. It's not necessarily a reflection of being addicted to money. It's more of like a, we just live in a society where we're almost hypnotised to chase mm. it every day, you know mm. what I mean? And it becomes everyone's most important thing, I guess, when mm. it shouldn't necessarily be like that, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's more with the money element. The cartoons... I know, man, it's a fun way to connect with people, isn't it? Yeah, it resonates is. with people. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Um, Hanna-Barbera and the like must be chasing you mainly for the output of just different, what, like in a Dapper Dan kind of way, like the, the creativity that you're applying to, you know, to, to these characters. Certain characters, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, we've got, yeah, man, we're kind of just like modernising certain things and yeah. making, it, making it funny. You'd be surprised how many... A lot of young people probably don't even know what these cartoons are, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 it's true. But then the older crowd will, so yeah. it's cool. But yeah. then obviously, then we have our spin-off and make our own characters mm. that are similar and work around and just is evolving, isn't it, man? Yeah, and it, it, there's a sense of irony to absolutely everything, but it takes it, to, again, it, like you say, it brings it to the younger audience, don't it? Yeah, of course, man. Yeah. That's important, isn't it, man? You want to inspire the youth a bit, isn't it, man? Especially through the work, isn't it, man? Yeah, I think it's paramount. It's the only... It's the only thing that matters, really, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. The yeah. next generation, isn't it? Man? The next generation. Um, do you do you feel like this is your peak right now? I mean, you, it's not every day you have like two <laughs> exhibitions going at once. Yeah. Nah, man. For me, this is like in my head. This is just part of the journey, isn't it, man? Mm -hmm. Like. I don't ever see myself stopping what I'm doing, man. This is what, this is what I feel. It's the first thing in my life that I feel like, yo, this is, this is my purpose of what I'm meant to do. And once you get the taste for it, man, it's like, yo, gotta keep on going, gotta keep on going, gotta keep on going. Do you know what I mean? There's two shows. This, I'll be doing a show next year or the year after. You know what I mean? It's just one of them things we've got to keep pushing. Mm -hmm. And nah, man, this is for life, isn't it, man? It's resonating. I yeah. mean, last time tried to get you on podcasts. I think you were doing some charity football match with a bunch of celebrities and I was like, yo, no, yo. <laughs> yeah, that was cool, yeah, man. So, you, you know, you're, you're prevalent in the music scene. People, you know, they're drawing on you for, for your pieces. Yeah, man, we've done work with people. I've got friends that are doing their thing in the music scene properly, yeah. isn't it, man? Um, and obviously I do a lot of music quotes which hit with certain artists that work mm. with well. So, yeah, we've, yeah, we're just doing our thing, isn't it, man? Yeah, absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So th the big question is, how do you strike a balance between street and commercial? That's, always, that's the difficult part, isn't it, man? <laughs> yeah. I think I do it quite well, though, man. I yeah. think, obviously, my background is graffiti, isn't it, man? That's what we started doing as kids, and it's kind of embedded in you to, to be a writer, mm. isn't it? I've obviously develop that through doing characters and that, that the characters have definitely got an element of graffiti to it, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But then with the quotes, all the font is how I would tag usually, isn't mm. it? And I've developed that and merged it together. Obviously for me, I'd find it probably a bit more difficult and it's very hard to, in terms to put a graffiti, just strictly graffiti into mm. a show, isn't it? Mm. Um, for me, I have more fun probably creating the canvas is how I do it. And the merge there with the streets and, and uh, the, the, the characters and all that, it's just, it's, I think it's more the theme I go with, isn't it? Mm. I think that's what merges it together very well, mm. isn't it? Like with the money notes, with the, I'm looking around because there's so much work going on. <laughs> yeah, no, you did. Even down to like the car chase stuff, it it's yeah. relates to people yeah, it that does. come from that street, street level stuff, isn't it, man? Yeah, like the telephone box, uh, nudie flyers. Oh, you've seen that? <laughs> that one's cool, man. But it all, it, it, it's all a snapshot of Broken Britain. Yeah, that's what it is, man. So, like, obviously, the show is Welcome to Britannia, yeah. this show. And it's not necessarily like the glitz and glam of Britain. It's no. more of the everyday experiences in Britain. Mm. And probably, like, as you can see, man, just like 
everyday stuff in Britain, isn't it, man? Even down to the like, phone cards over there, down to the money notes, down to stuff like with the government stuff, you know what I mean? Mm. It's just, yeah. Where do you think the resistance comes from, like the more seasoned graffiti artists not wanting to take a leap of faith and doing something more um, progressive with their, their own um, art? Oh, man. Bro, there's so much talent in the graffiti scene, man. Like, yeah. That's where I get inspiration from, innit? There's yeah. so many yeah. different writers, man. They could do so, so well. But I get it, man. Not everyone, that's not everyone's bag, innit? You know what I mean? Yeah. Not everyone wants to do that. Mm. So it's... Um, but there's definitely the potential for so a lot of people to go down that avenue if they wanted to go down that avenue. Yeah. You know I mean? um, not even places like the gallery. I think the gallery here, they, they obviously done a graph show before. Yeah. You had like, loads of artists involved, man. Yeah. I mean, a lot of writers. That was a cool show, man. The Shutters show. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. But like you, yeah, very much. Big, actually, yeah. big up the Shutters yeah. lot. You know, big up PIC. Yeah. Um, yeah, all the crew. Yeah, know. man. It was a cool show, it's man. Crazy. Um, with with graph, it's like this fine line, isn't it? That you, that you tread, and you have to walk, and you f to find that sweet spot. I think panic has that sweet spot. Big up Panic. Yeah, Panic. Panic has that sweet spot. It's just this really fine line, isn't it? Yeah, because it's like certain things, like the graffiti elements left in the streets, isn't it? Yeah. And then the transition, like, shout out Panic. Panic was in here earlier, actually, man. Oh, Come nice. and showed love. Yeah, Panic. Yeah, I fuck with Panic's work, innit, it, man? Like, Zonk. Zonk Zonk's man. doing his thing as well, Yeah, man. Teach, obviously. Teach. Like, um... There's loads of names, man. Zombie, uh, loads of different writers and that. Right? But you're you're from the new generation. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's you've paid your dues, but it hasn't got your feet too deep in the mud. Yeah. And that's that's the interesting case study about Abbots. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're yeah, able yeah. to. You've got the flexibility. Yeah, I get you. I guess. I guess everyone's got their choices in which direction they want to take it, isn't it, man? Yeah, it's true. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can't speak for everyone else, isn't it? But this is the path I kind of wanted to go. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It, it wasn't, it, and I'll be honest, it wasn't really fought through too much. It kind of just happened mm. by chance, isn't it? Lockdown come, I start doing canvases. We start posting that on socials and not even in a way to sell it. It was just putting it up. Mm. Before you know it, someone's like, can I grab that? Can I grab that? Can I mm. grab that? And I'm like, okay, this kind of something's working mm. here. And it's kind of transitioned into doing gallery shows, man, and mm. doing well off it, do you know what I mean? We're doing parts. Yeah, it? man, and for a lot of people, it's their first introduction to buying something. Knowing your demographic, how do you, how do you price your, your pieces? I mean, you, again, another fine line of who your audience is and yeah. the younger audience. So, like, with me, innit, man, like, I want my art to be accessible to everyone, innit, man? Yeah. And that can be... I'm not saying, obviously, certain big canvases, they've got to go for more money, innit? But like, yeah. that's the time and effort that's put into that is... Mm. You'd be spending months on certain things. Crazy you know what I mean? Coming time. back and forth. Because this is all detail. This ain't no... You can't actually... You can tell it's been made, yeah. created by somebody, but the attention to detail, that must be absolutely anxiety-ridden. Yeah, no, I get that, man. <laughs> but I think, like, once you do something for so long, it becomes just part of you to be able to do it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's uh, a lot of people be like, how do you do this? How do you do that? And yeah. it's just like... I don't know, man. It just comes natural if you've been doing something for so long. Mm. Um, yeah, man. There is a lot of detail and a lot of the bits in here, man. So a competitive, fair price, and the the goal is, and it's, I'm talking pure layman's for the mm. youngsters out there. Do you know what I mean? So the aim of the game is raise your value of the things that people buy immediately, and then offset that as time goes up with the raise of the the value through your kudos. I guess so, man. I think like you kind of just. I guess there's a level of being business savvy, isn't it, man? You've mm. got to kind of understand, okay, that took me this amount of time. Mm. Does it really make sense to sell it for that price? You know mm. what I mean? Mm. Also, if, so if it's in demand for something, if someone's hitting you up for something and it's like, okay, but you've also got to base it off what you've sold something for last time. You can't go under that now, do you know what I mean? You've got mm. to be, you're doing a disrespect to the person that's bought something before, you know what I mean? So mm. you've got to keep it balanced, isn't it, man? Big paintings, obviously, they go for more money, but... Yeah. It really, it is what it is, man. But I'll do stuff down to like, like even the gallery here, man. I thought it was really important just to have little mementos or little postcards and stuff like yeah. that, so people can come in. They don't, 
they don't have the most money because as a kid, I couldn't have walked in and bought any of this, you know what I mean? It's like, it's me just doing a little thing like postcards, you know what I mean? A couple of quid. Yeah, in. it's kind of it's like Supreme, it has something for everybody. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got a level of something for everyone, 100%. I want people to leave here with a smile on it. I don't want them to think, fuck, you know, I couldn't get nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, on that subject, we've got a few more bits here. We've got, to, we've got the uh, <laughs> handy dandy saviour ask uh, teacup. Yeah, it's cool, man. Obviously, with the show being called Welcome to Britannia, it's done a little tea mug, innit? <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean, it's cool, man. Done little bits. We've got, like, lighters. We've done grinders. Yeah, you did. We've done, that's cool, man, that little thing. Little laser engraved on the side. Yeah, it's laser engraved. This <laughs> isn't just, like, any silver... <laughs> Yeah, we done that. We done loads of merch, t-shirts, and that man. They flew out. To be fair, everyone, yeah. everyone fucked with them. We got um, loads of things, man. Like prints, obviously, posters, yeah. sticker packs, like loads of bits and bobs. It's man. funny because I think that the clothing, as, as the brand side of anything with clothing, you know, people just love that stuff, don't they? Yeah, it's easy, man. Like it's summertime as well, bro. If someone wants a nice t-shirt to wear. It's cool. It works and yeah been doing i do the occasional t-shirt drop especially around like carnival time i've, I've kind of like made carnival a thing for me Bro, you so. rinsed carnival i love it <laughs> i love it yeah man it's local to the ends isn't it Do you know what i mean yeah. it's basically i'm there all the time isn't it and like i don't know man just going to that hyper focus tunnel vision mode around carnival and just yeah, yeah. plaster it innit, man yeah biking around <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course bepa, bepa, bepa. Yeah, man, but it's cool. It's, I love Carnival, man. It's a great time for, like, especially the, the graph community, in it. Big time. To come to a spot and just share the same love to do something, innit? Yeah, it, you yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah, totally. And you Have link you... up with people you ain't seen, man. Do you know what I mean? Without question. You know that's, I mean? the, that's the craziest bit. It's, oh, you're in. Yeah, because that's the thing with graph, innit? Not everyone knows what everyone looks like no. or even knows what... Do you know what I mean? It's, it's quite a hidden off kind of subculture, innit? Do you know it what really mean? is. But it's... And I love it, man. Yeah, we love it, man. We love it. Um, have you seen... I mean, you know, we're talking about nearly three years since we did the last one. Yeah, yeah. And, well, of course, we've done mini-docs and stuff like that. But, <laughs> yeah, of course, but, of course. But to be fair, but um, have you seen a change in perception from a commercial standpoint with your work compared to... Like, have you seen a change in people's perceptions? There is a, a graph at, that, that kind of leans more into street art and how it's... Do you know what? I, I get quite a mixed response from my work, man. I, like, even... Because... With me, man, I find, like... I've had a handful of people that buy my bits, man, that will mm. come in and be like, I don't buy art, I don't know anything about art, but when I seen your bits, I had to grab something. Do wow. you know what I mean? I had that yesterday, man, in the Red 8 gallery. I met a lady that's never bought a piece, and she walked in and she said she couldn't leave without it. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know if... I don't know where my thing comes in, where... It, where it lies if it's street art graph, but I think it's an element of everything. Couldn't leave without it, you know? Yeah, man. Couldn't, yeah, couldn't man. leave without spending the money on <laughs> yeah. the oh. no, But it's cool, man, but I like, yeah. I like that, man. It's, 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 it's a good feeling, isn't it, man? People, Incredible. People appreciate your work enough to purchase. That's a, that's a big thing, bro. Yeah. You know I mean, not... It's everything. It's a, it's a privilege, isn't it, man? Do you know what I mean? So. It's, it's everything. Yeah, and it's man. what you get up in the morning to do. It's what you wake up for. Oh, yeah, man. People don't see the... <laughs> shows like this don't happen just by chance and... Bro, this is sleepless nights. This is believing it might not work sometimes yeah. and just pushing through, keep pushing through. Keep We've pushing talked about through. this a lot. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Do you know, know what I mean? Bro. It's like, yeah, man. So. It's funny how you, where your grind takes you, you know. You'd, you never expected this to have happened, surely, when you was younger. Uh, yeah, man, I didn't really, like, as a kid, I didn't really know where my life was going, man. Mm. More time, I'd <laughs> probably not always the direction it should always go, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. kind of a bit... I don't know what I want to do with myself, yeah. you know what I mean? Luckily, I would say luckily, this isn't by luck, innit, man? Do you know what I mean? Mm. This is hard work, man, as yeah. we said, innit? This is taking the initiative to try something and keep pushing it, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. And obviously, producing, like, my work's got better over time as well, man. Mm. It's like, you can see the progression. For sure. Yeah. Grafter mentality, isn't it? Yeah, man. But I think that's inbuilt, that's built in, inbuilt in me, innit, man? Yeah. I'm a grinder, man, do you know what I mean? I think... Yeah. It's just how it has to be, man. Yeah. Nothing gets done if you don't do it, innit? So you've got to yeah. do it. Do you think you would repurpose that in anything you do? As in, if, whatever, if anything... I, I, one thing this has taught me, man, that if you actually just apply yourself, you'll get the results, innit? Mm. 
And that's, I say that to anyone, even young artists that come in here, young like writers, anyone. It's just like, bro, like if you want to try something, just go and do it, man. Because yeah. you don't know what can come from it, innit? You know what I mean? Go for it. A little opportunity can turn into a massive thing in years to come. What yeah. could even happen the next week? You just don't know. Yeah. So just apply yourself, man. And yeah. That's one hell of a Jerry Springer sign off right there. <laughs> Listen, any, anyone you want to shout out who's been a part of this journey um, of these current exhibitions that you've got going on? Um, yeah, we've got a load of collaborations in the show, man. We have uh, my guy Vegas, we worked on paintings. Now big up Vegas. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We've got uh, Zonk. Yeah, Come on. big up Zonk. Come on, Zonk's a UK legend, man. So yeah, big time. Involved. It's cool, man. Yeah. We've got uh, Elias, young kid that got involved with me, mm -hmm. created some bits. We've got Loz. Got a photographer called Jimmy. Shout out the whole of the gallery and that. The team worked hard to get this done. Shout out the other gallery that's going on. We've got loads of things going on, man. You know what I mean? It's, I'd be here all day if I was to say it, but yeah, man. Yeah. Family, friends that have supported you, all of that. Yeah. Yeah, man. And of course, the good people of Camden are opening a gallery. Thanks for having us. Yeah. And let us uh, share the space and these... Uh, these treats that, uh, yeah, you've amassed over such a short period of time and may they sell and your uh, career continue. We'll be right here with you, my brother. Come on, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're doing my, our thing, man. My guy, Abbott's Killer Keller podcast out like in was out of fashion, all right? Be more Abbott. Stay out of trouble. Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't, all right? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> nice Peace. Job, man. Cool, man. <laughs> yeah, man. You reckon that's cool? That was sick. Yeah, cool, man. Wow. It was bang on 30 minutes, exactly was it, what yeah? I said.